Hello, this is Olivia of Saturn 9 Studios here with part one of my model horse painting tutorial. In this part, I will just explain how you start your project. The first and most obvious way of painting a model horse is to just get paint, a brush, and paint the thing, which is what I did with this one, which is one of my first models. As you can see, there's brush strokes, no blending or shading whatsoever, and it's just painful to look at. So I decided to invest in an airbrush, which will eliminate brush strokes and it makes blending easier. But really, if airbrushing is just a pain. It clogs, you have to mix paint and get it to the right consistency, and it's not fun. But it's smooth. But I was so discouraged with airbrushing that I just kind of stopped painting for a year. Then I heard of this new and popular way of painting called pastelling, which involves getting a chalk pastel, shaving it into dust, then getting that dust, brushing it dry onto a model, not a piece of paper like this, and then between each layer, sealing it with some kind of matte fixative. So I tried it, and really, I will never go back to any other way again. It looks like airbrushing because it's smooth, there's no brush strokes, and it's a lot easier, and it has kind of more of a earthy looking kind of tone. So pastelling is the way to go, and that's what I'll be doing in this tutorial. As you get practice and press, you can do all kinds of things to models, such as repositioning, pairing, and all kinds of stuff. But for this tutorial, I'm going to stick to just the basic repaint. The first thing you should do is plan what you're going to do for your project. What breed are you going to do? What color do you want to be? Do some research and find out what color certain breeds can be and what colors they can't be. Then you'll need reference. If you want your project to be as realistic as possible, reference is a must. You can use books, even magazines with like horse ads, but really the best thing to do is to just get a camera and go to a nearby ranch and take pictures of a horse that looks like the one you want to paint. But if that doesn't work, you could always just use the internet. Now for supplies. First and foremost, you'll need a model. The most popular brand of model horses is Briar. Briar has tons of breeds, sizes, everything. And for a first custom, I'd recommend doing a smaller horse, like a stable mate. They're about $3 that come in a little pack like this. They're sold at like Walmart, Target. They're easy to find and they're a good size. You wouldn't want to do like a whole big traditional model like this for your first and then accidentally messed up on it and waste the expensive model and all the paint that it has to cover. So yeah, stable mates are the best thing to start with. But for this tutorial, I'm actually going to be using a classic sized model, which is not quite as big as a traditional, but not quite as small as a stable mate. Another thing you want to keep in mind is if the model you want to paint suits the horse you're trying to paint. For example, this Briar Silver probably wouldn't be the best idea for a children's lesson horse, whereas Misty here would be a whole lot better. But you wouldn't use Misty for like, a portrait model of a racehorse either, would you? As for supplies, you'll need pastels. The Alpha Color Earth Tone set is really good because it has every color you'll need for most, in, almost any horse color. But the Gray Tone set is good for if you're doing a gray horse. They're only about eight dollars and they last forever. Like the whole, my whole pack is like this big has done like 30 stable mates. So you won't run out anytime soon unless you paint like crazy. You'll also need acrylic paint, but mostly just white for markings and black and brown for eyes. And your fixative. I use matte finish, but you could also use Tester's Doll Coat. But those are the two brands I'd recommend because other ones might be bad. And for primer, Rustoleum's Painter's Touch is really good, but sometimes they're out of that, so I use this American Tradition stuff. This one tends to be a little more rubbery, but this stuff, and this stuff dries quicker. So that's the primer. 
I also use actually clear nail polish for the eyes to gloss them and make them look real. And that's a touch you might want to have. You'll also need a few other tools like brushes. Q-tips work really good. And I have these other like strange kind of fuzzy makeup things that I got from a store. And they're my favorite thing to use, but I don't know where you buy those. You'll need really fine grain sandpaper for sanding and prepping the horse first. And files are really good, especially if you have a nice set like this. But I guess you could use like a nail file if that's all you have. So that's basically it. You need a model, paint, pastels, brushes, and a reference. And that's the end of part one of my model horse paint tutorial. In the second part, we will start prepping and sanding and all other fun things before we start actually painting the model. And that is all. Goodbye.